14, 21, 70 have certain symbolism attached to them. Uh, the number 70 uh, has part of its uh, symbolism is that it is an approximation, a number of four used for an approximation. So we are not here to celebrate a 70th birthday. That's an approximation. Yeah. <laughs> Karen is 39. <laughs> And we are celebrating the 31st anniversary of her 39th birthday. <laughs> then I looked elsewhere, and interestingly, the number 70 shows up in this little discussion that Jesus had with his disciple Peter. Now, I don't know or remember exactly how it's worded, but something similar to this. Peter comes up and says, Lord, 
How often should a woman forgive her husband? Seven times? Seventy. And it's my sermon. This is not a children's talk. Uh, there's something about obey your husband that you want to Never so Jesus' response as was prompted from the table here. Jesus says, not seven, I tell you, 70 times seven. Now Karen became very familiar with this idea of forgiving 70 times seven early on in the wonderful stage of her life together that kind of had a beginning point way back in the days of Rotary. Now Ron and I were in the Rotary Club in that Halcyon era where it was a male only kind of play. Karen was among the first three who tried to break down the door, door and get in. And there were certain members of our club who found that problematic. Uh, we will not mention any names, but the initials of one such is Ron Millix. <laughs> So Karen found that once entering the club, that was a reason to begin counting this 70 times 7 forgiveness. Then along the way, I'm outside of church greeting people on Sunday morning, when up the walkway comes Karen. And I knew for many years she worked at the bank, a bank manager, had a high position. And right away, I thought I was emulating Jesus who made inroads in the financial community with people like Levi, Matthew, the tax collector, and Zacchaeus, the tax And now I'm, I'm getting financial people coming to hear my great preaching. <laughs> that was not why she was coming. <laughs> she was coming to meet somebody. Then she discovered that there's another reason to forgive. Because the somebody that she was always looking to meet was always late. Oh. That's how he gets the nickname, the late, great Ronald Smithers. <laughs> so, another reason to forget. And then she shows up in my adult instruction class. And there she learned what Lutherans believe about forgiveness. Both the theory and the practice of forgiveness. I taught the theory, Ron gave her reason to practice. <laughs> And it all kind of reached a peak in that beautiful moment where they stood before the altar to exchange their vows in marriage. And I turned to Ron and I said, repeat after me, I, Ron, in the presence of God. And Ron says, I, God. <laughs> Now understands why forgiveness is so important. <laughs> so what we are here to celebrate is the number 70, both as an approximate number, 39th birthday, 31 times over, you like that one, and 70 times 7, the need to forgive, without forgiveness, could not be any more. So there's one that's blessed with goodness and grace and forgiveness. Let's pray. Heavenly Father. You bring us together as family, friends, and loved ones from different directions to celebrate Karen's birthday and to celebrate Ron and Karen's life together and the lives that they touch. We thank you for the gifts that they bring, the joy that they bring, the hospitality, the warmth, the sharing. We especially thank you that we share with them a common faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. In his name we gather around these tables to receive our blessings. We receive them gratefully and humbly as we now offer the table prayer together. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, be our, our guest, and let the gifts, gifts to us be blessed. blessed. Amen. Amen. Yes, very nice. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you're so retired. You just keep coming on. Keep coming on. Don't go to a smile. I know better. I know better. <laughs> <laughs>